Hi, today I'm going to do a trend look and um, it's one of my favourite trends for this autumn winter. It's been coming in probably for the last 12 months kind of slowly but it's it's really becoming quite a big trend. I'm going to call it heavy natural. I don't think it's kind of called that but it's, it's this look that was really really popular um, at the beginning of the 90s when everyone kind of wore brown lipsticks and brown eyeshadows and it was when sort of Bobbi Brown was first becoming such a big brand and everyone used to go and buy their brown eyeshadows and their brown lipsticks and um, it was sort of meant to be a sort of natural look but it involved quite a lot of heavy makeup and I think that look is really coming back although obviously now the formulations are so much better than they were then so you can kind of get that look but um, it's it doesn't have the same heavy feel and the absolute master of it back then was the genius um, Kevin O'Quan who's just I absolutely love his work and um, seemed like such a nice guy as well um, and he used to just do like incredible kind of sculpted faces with amazing browns and um, quite heavy faces but they just used to look absolutely flawless and perfect so it's kind of like an updated version of that I am going to do a little bit more um, in the next month or so of the kind of trend looks that are coming from it but this is more like an overview so I'm going to start with my base uh, I'm going to use Suku creamy foundation because it gives quite a made up look, it's quite a polished look and it's 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 a little bit um, more coverage. I don't actually need that much of it so I'm just going to put a little bit on my chin and then take most of it off, clean the brush and then just start working it out from there. Okay so before I do any concealing at all I'm going to go straight into the eyes. Uh, there's a couple of I was just looking through my stuff and looking at some good browns and I found a few. This is one I'm going to use today which I just thought this was such a cool palette and it's by Pixie and it's called Eye Beauty Kit and it's number 8 which is Muse and it's got some really good browns and some car keys in and also some really nice highlighters. So I'm going to use these two browns here. Before I start the eyes I thought I'd just put on a little base. I'm going to use one of the Ruby and Millie eye colours and this is just in beige and I'm going to use it almost like a primer so onto the eyeshadow I'm going to use the two browns I'm going to use a slightly lighter one first using a MAC 217 I'm going to use a tissue actually because um, I'm going to try and I'm not going to use a lot I'm going to take most of it off on the tissue and then just start to layer that brown all over now the way this was done in the sort of beginning of the 90s, firstly it would have been a heavier base with probably a lot more powder and secondly most of the eyeshadows were completely matte and a lot heavier so this is kind of a nice updated version. So now I'm going to use a smoke lid brush by Paula Dorf. Um, I'm not actually going to use the darker one from the palette, I'm going to continue with this sort of mid-tone lighter brown. Um, and I'm going to wet the brush so I'm just going to dampen the smoke lid and taking that mid brown again because it's damp it's going to go on a lot more colourful it's a subtle difference when it's damp but it's just a little bit deeper I'm just going to go all along the lash line with that and then at the outer corner start to bring it up into socket line and again I'm going to go all the way along and then to finish off what's left on the brush and just come underneath so that's this one colour wet and dry it's amazing how when you use one shade wet and dry it looks like lots of different colours I'm just going to finish off with exactly the same colour on a 217 and just dust over Okay, before I finish off the eyes, I'm going to go on and finish off my skin. Um, this doesn't seem to be too much in the way of anything dropping down. So I'll go on and use my... Um, actually, I'm going to put some highlighter on because I think the thing that makes this look feel very up-to-date is the combination of modern-day highlighter and um, sculptor. So I'm going to use my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. before I conceal so it's just onto my 
the high point of my cheeks. Lots of people have asked me about if you've got large pores, can you use this? And I say, yes, you still can, but just don't use it wherever the large pores are. Most people don't have large pores here, in which case just keep it to that area. Um, you can take it a little bit further if you haven't, but if you've got, you know, a lot of large pores here and right on the apples of the cheeks, just don't take it over that area. So I've taken a while there just to conceal every single little spot, so I've got quite a nice even base. Uh, and I used for the brush, it's actually a Chanel little eyelining brush, it's minute, just for almost retouching out all those little marks and things. Now before I do the powder, I'm going to use some of the Bronze Universelle and I'm going to use a MAC 109 brush so I'm just going to take most of it off on the back of my hand and then just start to add some warmth and also a little bit of sculpting as well. I just want to get that real kind of highlighted and sculpted look the good thing about using this cream one is that you can really sort of blend and kind of make it really fit in with the foundation. Right, I'm next going to use um, some Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel. And this is 005, so it's a little bit warmer than I normally would use, but I'm creating quite a warm face. And I'm just going to powder. So I'm all powdered. I'm going to use some lash curlers. I'm going to use a prestige mascara called My Blackest Lashes, which has um, quite a thick brush and also it's a really nice carbon black, which I think will frame this makeup really well. You don't need too much of it, it goes on really, really black and really dramatic sort of immediately. I am loving that mascara, that is going in my kit even my, I say my personal bag actually, because it's gone on so quickly. The payoff is instant, big lashes. Okay, onto the brows. Because this is all kind of natural and, well, natural, um, and browny and earthy makeup, I'm gonna do quite full brows. So I'm gonna fill in the gaps, but I'm also just gonna slightly give them a, a thicker feel as well. So brows on and um, I noticed this brown on my eyes is looking quite khaki. It's got, although it looks very brown in the palette, it has got some green pearl in it which is really picking up. So I think I'm going to add, I'm going to wait till I finish the rest of the makeup, but I think I'm going to add a little bit of brown pencil just to give it more of a brownie feel. I do like the colour actually, I like that kind of slightly khaki-ish brown but I'll finish off and, and we'll see. Okay, I'm going to move on to the lips. I'm going to use a lip pencil. This is a Serge Luten one. It's unbelievably expensive, but I love the colour. It's very, very kind of old school. If you remember those, anyone who's old enough to remember the kind of very, very matte brownie pencils that everyone used to wear in the kind of early, uh, early 90s. It's very reminiscent of that. Now for the lips, I'm going to use a gloss. It's sort of quite a pigmented gloss. It's a Colour Stay Ultimate Lip Colour by Revlon. And um, this colour, I don't even know what it's called. I'll put it, I'll put it on the screen anyway. But it's a very browny shade with a little bit of gold pearl. So it'll keep it looking nice and brown, but it'll give it a sort of shimmery freshness. So it's not going to look too authentic. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit more uh, colour on my cheeks and sort of highlight myself a little bit more. I'm going to try this one, which is, um, it's by Marks and Spencers, and I've only just sort of discovered this brand. Uh, it's a new one called Perfection, and it's sort of like a mixture between a highlighter and a bronzing powder. It's called Sun Gold. So I'm just going to mix the two shades together. I'm just on the apples of the cheeks. Just start adding some warmth. So we're still going to have our sculpting um, Bronze Universelle and this will just catch the light on the top. Okay, and I just want, I do want to add a little bit more brown to my eyes because it does feel quite carkish. And this is 
uh, MAC Pencil in Teddy, which is one of my favourite sort of very warm brown colours. It's uh, quite a rich, warm shade, and I, I often use it on um, most skin colours actually, and most eye colours. It seems to be one of those classic pencils that kind of suits everybody. It's a good one to have in your kit if you're a makeup artist. So that's the look, that's my interpretation today for heavy natural and it's those kind of natural colours but quite a lot of products and quite put on in a way that is um, kind of anything but natural but the overall effect is natural uh, and I think it's a good trend to come back because we can do it in, in such a new way now. You know, there just weren't the foundations, there weren't any of the kind of great sort of highlighters, the sort of beautiful sheer bronzes and things that you know you can use to really create this effect and make it look really modern. Um, I've noticed actually this lip has just dried completely matte and dry so um, I think this colour stay is it's one of those everlasting lipsticks. I'm just going to put a little bit of lip balm over the top. This is Suki but you can use anything because it's feeling really uh, matte. Yeah, just give it a little bit of life. That feels better. And it feels like it's not going to come off. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing more trends in the next couple of months. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching. And see you soon.